what is going on everyone guys in today's video we are going to clean this game on camera so pretty much what we're going to do is i'm going to show you a little tip on how to get sharpie it doesn't always work perfectly but it usually helps out a lot we're going to clean that up and then this game i just picked up so most likely it's going to be it's going to be pretty dirty on these pin connectors most of the time i pick up cartridge games like this they are so we've got something to help remedy that we've got some q-tips and some other stuff so we're going to go ahead and jump into it i'm not sure which part we should do first maybe well <laughs> now this is something i don't know if i'm going to be able to get off right now usually what you can do for labels that are on the back especially when they're over another sticker label first of all if this was just put on here there's a good chance we can probably get this off without ripping the back so we're actually going to try that first if not you can take a heat gun or you can take a hair dryer and i don't have one right now next to me otherwise i'd just go ahead and show you all that part as well but you can take that hair dryer. You're going to put that hair dryer on here for 20, 30 seconds at a time. And it's going to basically get rid of the adhesive behind the sticker on here. And it'll come off super easily. And then it'll also help not tear this up. But like I said, let's see. Sometimes we get lucky with this and we can kind of peel it off. Usually you can tell though if it's going to start ripping your game. Let's have a look. Mmm this one is looking questionable nah i think i think we're gonna be okay as long as let's see if y'all can see that as long as we're extra careful i think we might be good i'm not worried about this part this part over here will be easy to come off this part though i don't want to rip the label and if we were to rip the label like i said this isn't like a super valuable game or anything like that. Also, real quick, <laughs> while I stop the process, I know some of you are like, finish it, get the sticker off. Another thing you can do, you can take another game that has a nicer label on the back. You could literally unscrew this and swap the back of the cartridge out. As long as it's not like one of the red cartridges for the N64, there's a yellow, a green one. Obviously, you can't have a multicolored cartridge going on, although I guess that might look kind of cool. But that is something to keep in mind. Let's get back to the peel. Uh, I wish I had that hair dryer next to me. Oh, no, I think we're good. A little ASMR for y'all. Ooh, 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 we're doing pretty good. Ah, okay. That makes me feel better. And funny enough, this actually was not <laughs> supposed to be part of this video. I completely forgot this was on the back of here. So y'all got a little bit of uh, some bonus material there. All right, so let me show you what, what you can do. You can take an Expo dry erase marker. Look at this low odor. I don't know if that part matters. This is the crazy part, right? This is what you're gonna do. And I remember the first time I did this, I was like, this feels wrong. Like this feels like something you should not be doing. But yeah, check it out. Bowling. I don't know why it says bowling on there. We're going to do that. And we're going to just Sharpie over it or color over it, I guess. I know. Y'all are like, what is happening? Crazy, right? So you're going to do this. And usually I like to let it sit on there a little bit. And then once it kind of dries up a little, I usually go back over it again. And we are going to find out together if this worked. Usually it does, like I said. Now, I don't have a wipe right next to me. Usually I use some sort of wipe. I went ahead and grabbed a wipe, and this is what we're going to do. So just like a, like a wet wipe, you could get like a flushable wipe. Like really, I don't think it matters that much. And just basically... We're gonna go over it and we're gonna see what it looks like when it's done. Uh -huh, there you go. So as you can tell, just that one round already got most of it off. So not too bad. There you go. That's what it looks like. We're gonna do this probably a couple more times. Hopefully we can get it looking nicer. Um, you could definitely use a magic eraser, but a lot of people don't like using those because Although, yeah, they do work, they kind of start to deteriorate your cartridge after a while. So you have to be very careful. 
Usually though, I feel like if it's a small little scuff, a little bit of a dry eraser is gonna end up helping out. And I don't mind too much. I'm not really cleaning games that are worth hundreds of dollars with a dry eraser something or magic eraser excuse me something like this though i don't care as much about just because it's you know you could it's more of a common game you'll find this game again it's not expensive so to each their own i guess when it comes to that there we go had to clean that up it was bugging me and i'm pretty sure the back of this has some dirt on it too while we're while we're cleaning things up we might as well and see a lot of this stuff will just come off with a wet wipe it might actually be smarter to use a wet wipe at the very beginning because there's a chance that that Sharpie might have come off a little bit with just the wet wipe. So kind of another tip there to keep in mind. But there we go. Now we're going to probably, we're going to do it a couple more times. Another tip though, what you can do is right here, what we're going to clean the pin connector with. You just get some isopropyl alcohol. You can get this at like Walmart, probably a place like CVS, Walgreens, places like that. They're usually like 2 or $3 for like a giant bottle. I just like to put it in a small bottle. It helps. But here's another thing you can do. Let's try this out real quick. Sometimes this works. You can take a little bit of this. Now, the part about this is you usually have to wait. Like, you have to wait a good bit. And what you'll see is, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but what normally happens is the marker will kind of start to float off a little bit. Don't know if it's going to work in this case, but let it sit for just a little bit longer. And I'm going to go ahead and take this Q-tip, and I'm going to just start seeing if any of it's coming off sometimes it works not always but it is another tip that kind of helps oh yeah look you can see already it's getting it, it's working a little bit it's not the best but it, it definitely is helping so obviously a lot of elbow grease in this thing will start to work might be something i do off camera we will see how it goes but yeah, if you see the Q-tip, let's see if it'll even pick up on that. I don't know if it will. There you go. You can see how much dirt is already on that thing just after a little bit of wiping. So what we're going to do, we're going to try this technique another time and see if we can get that little bit off. If not, I'll probably try the, um, the magic eraser. And I know people don't like that, but it's better than leaving, I feel like, a little bit of this marker on. We're gonna get it on there. Put a little extra on there this time, why not? There we go. Okay. So that's fine. Where'd the where'd the cap go? There it is. No cap. <laughs> Here we go. Oh man, it's sticking to the label. put this up don't want that thing to dry out and let's take a clean side of this let me go ahead and dry this up a little and all right let's just go for it and see what happens there we go dang actually almost almost all of it came off so probably what i'll do here at the very end I will take that eraser and I will just gently go over it. Got a tiny, tiny piece of this eraser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this isopropyl alcohol on here first. Did not mean to put that much. And then I'm going to take the dry eraser. Why do I keep calling it? Is it a, it's a magic eraser, isn't it? Or is it a dry eraser? No, I think it's called a magic eraser. I keep calling it the wrong thing. I always get those two confused, but you're basically just going to get to where that Sharpie is. And there you go. See, it's already, look, you can, you can see it on there how much dirt came off. But like I said, what will happen is after a while, you do it too much, it kind of starts to take away a little bit of the cartridge. So you just got to be careful. You can kind of see it leaves a little bit of a scuff mark behind. But overall... Not too bad, guys. And also, I like to clean the label as well. You see, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but these things get really, really dirty over time. Let's make sure we're not putting the Sharpie part on there. And I do love to just clean it up as well. So, oh, even some more dirt was coming off. I didn't even notice that. There we go. It's looking a thousand times nicer. And the last part of this, we are going to take a little bit of this right here. And if this is super dirty, you guys are gonna see what I mean. So all you do is take a Q-tip 
and you run it, run it under there like this over and over and over and over again. And let's see if it's dirty. Oh yeah, look at that. This game probably would not have even played. There we go. That is disgusting. So pretty much what I do, I clean it. I do the other side as well because both sides are gonna be very dirty. Oh yeah, that's disgusting. And just cause I don't feel like grabbing a new Q-tip every two seconds, I just use the side that's clean and I repeat the process until the whole thing looks absolutely disgusting on the Q-tip. And then I switch the other side. Now, the reason I'm not switching a Q-tip every two seconds is because when I'm cleaning games, I usually have a stack of video games in the background. I'm probably not just cleaning one game. Otherwise it's like, okay, that doesn't really matter. But just in order to save a little bit of time, that's just my method. It does work and I feel like it helps out. So. Pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna just keep cleaning this until the Q-tip comes out and it's no longer dirty looking. Kind of common sense at that point. But, oh see look, you see how like that's already getting kind of clean. So this is actually already pretty good. So the game wasn't super dirty, but definitely, definitely dirtier than I would've liked. And honestly, I don't even know if it would've started up. Now there's probably not gonna be any problem with it starting. Oh yeah, look at that thing, so. Guys, a quick, well, <laughs> it wasn't really quick. I guess kind of a longer video than I thought it'd be. But I wanted to show y'all a little bit of behind the scenes, some cleaning, a little bit of a tutorial. Hopefully you guys can learn from this video. Maybe you guys can share some of your tips with me down below. I appreciate all of y'all. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new here and you do enjoy Nintendo content, Nintendo news, hunting, all sorts of stuff. Guys, I appreciate all of y'all. Until next time, peace.